Why couldn't you do that for your stealth, you prick? Okay. Uh, they indeed are ghouls. Okay. You can see their longish tongues, <clears throat> and you caught a glimpse of, like, some of their strong teeth, and they just seem to be, uh, like, just chewing into the blubber of this big whale beast. They're having, yeah, they're feasting. Do you have a knowledge planes? Uh, no. No, no, no. Okay, give me What a... skill points? <laughs> well, you kind of do, though, don't you? Don't you have a... Uh, evil outsider favorite enemy? Okay. Yeah. Not... And then give me a perception check. Okay. Perceptioning. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. yeah. Holy ones. All right, at least they're not saving throws. All right. <laughs> Nine. Okay. Um... Everything is fine. <laughs> you don't see anything else of, of consequence in the town, although uh, there are some dead birds. Yeah, in the square. yeah, yeah. figure that out. Yeah, uh, they, that they look out. like a little bit older, uh, older death. Um, like I, I flew into a, in a building that I couldn't see. With a nine. You're not too sure what it is, but there seems to be tracks of different colored ground now all the ground is covered from dust from the dust storm and the haze that's in the sky but there seems to be tracks like a, a darker color track coming out of the whale's mouth and kind of going <clears throat> off in various directions in the town like there's an actual trail that leads to the whale's mouth something crawled out things crawled out yeah with your nine you're you you're you can make whatever that's the amount of detail that you get from here. Her things crawled into its mouth. The ghouls seem to be just happy to continuously eat from the side of the creature. It's like, where did this whale come from? You're like miles from the sea. Yeah. A thousand miles to Crusader Bay, which is where Monte Plata is. It's weird, man. Where the capital city is? Where suspiciously the giant vortex that is in the sky is moving towards, <laughs> towards the south. Yeah. Oh, everything's fine. All right, who's the second person? Maybe we'll ask Vi this. Um, <clears throat> I think what we'll do is we'll leave uh, we'll leave um, uh, Venturin for the last. You want someone who can protect himself? Who's the second so... person that is being risen onto the onto the wall? And greetings, Mike and Sir Thomason. Greetings. Um... I would whoever land grabs because we're going to use basically land as a ferry. Okay. Uh, uh, I would say I would say take Fi next. Somebody else who can be turret. Okay. Yeah. Fi, Fi, yeah. Nina flies up just to go join uh, Elden. You can see her flapping um, her wings kind of along the wall. Fi is an alchemist. Elden is the other guy on the wall. He's a yeah, ranger. Okay. So that's we've got them on the tower. Are you raising uh, well, land all the way up and over, or are you just raising <clears> up <throat> just enough? To... Just enough to hop off. Okay. And then describe how you're getting onto the wall. There are crenellations on both sides. Uh, he's got a big, long stick. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, up high enough for him to just pull us over. Right, because you, you line up so that you go up and you can grab it and pull in, because you can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're just climbing onto the wall? Climbing on. Come over to us. Okay, so uh, Elden, you kind of wince a little bit as Fi's just walking around. He's not even hiding. Oh, what do you mean, get down? Oh. <clears throat> oh, uh, yes. He stoops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make your stealth checks, please. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Reroll stealth. Uh, yeah, Elden. What? No, oh, hey, Mike. What's happening? 25. 25. There. 11. <clears throat> 11 from Phi? It's like Phi... Phi... That's including the plus 4 for being small? Yep. Okay. Alright, Phi. The scene that you see is that the tower is flickering in and out of existence or in and out of visible, visible spectrum. You're not too certain. Uh, there is a rotting whale creature that there are four ghouls uh, that, that Elden um, um, identified 
um, that are that just seem to have their faces buried into the side of the whale creature and are just eating. And then the, there's dust everywhere. You could see a couple of dead birds. Perhaps they're they're much older, kind of surrounding uh, surrounding the tower. And there are strange dark slicks underneath the dust that come directly out of the whale's mouth and off into at least six different trails into the surrounding neighborhood. Ew. Thick, wide slicks. <laughs> like, like trails. Uh, knowledge for this whale. For the whale? Okay. Yeah. Uh, planes? I believe it's planes. Uh, dungeoneering? Um... If it's nature, I, I don't know what I'll say. I'll be like, wow. <coughs> it's a whale. Thank, thanks, Vi. Is that what you went to all that schooling for? I failed, remember. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you want to hide, it's best to not dangle your feet over the edge. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Might you be small. Crap, crappy stealth. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you remember what this thing was called? Um, yeah, it's a celestial whale or something. Is World. it? Is it the? Is it the planar whale thing? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. For some reason, I'm drawing a blank on what it's called. That was Shadow's campaign. Mm-hmm. Oh, I remember the name of the creature. Yeah, see, the thing is, I think we had to... Uh, effort was put into making it journal. Well... Oh, oh no, it wasn't this. It was uh, Symbol's Gift. Yeah. It wasn't Shadow's. I don't know. Symbol's gift. Well, I... I was... I messed it up. Fool. Fool. Uh, journals. Uh... Hmm... Okay, give me what was your knowledge planes for the whale? Oh. Uh thirty one. Somewhere in in the the strange lore and infinite possibilities of the planes you you discovered or that you remember reading about a race of whales that could breach planar boundaries. Those are plane fairing whales. Just, whatever, just keep your feet in. Oh, sorry. Just keep your feet in. Stop. Put your head down, damn it. Like some sort of plane fairing. If I put my head down, I can't see. Some sort of swims? planner leviathan is kind of the way that you describe it. But, uh, yeah, but there's no water. There's, there's no water. There's, there's an ocean here from. Uh, Hundreds of thousand miles. I think oh, they yeah. swim through the air. Yeah. They like swim on the air, and he starts to make like little swimmy motions. Looks like, like an idiot. All part of his like really terrible hide. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're an idiot. He can't swim like that. He doesn't have wings. Okay. Something actually gallops into the square in front of the tower, like. <laughs> It's on all fours. Uh, what is that? It seems to be eating someone's leg as the last bit of a boot. It spits it onto the ground. 
<laughs> okay, five's less thinks he maybe shouldn't be so uh, exposed on the wall. Uh. <laughs> and then it, it goes right by the ghouls. One of the ghouls actually looks at it, like, while it's still just sort of eating the side of the whale. And then it goes into the whale. It's a house. It's a house whale. What was that? Uh, give me knowledge planes. Okay. Okay. 31. Is it another Vrock? <clears throat> I'll let you know when you see Avrock. Um, Got it. It was strange. You thought these things were aquatic. They seem to be quite at home on the ground. It's called a, um, a Hezro. Um, okay. It is a teleporting that... demon. They live in the vast swamps and mires and waterways of the abyss. Um, its mere presence causes things to rot. A being like that would be the source of the rotting food. Um, it's quite intelligent, although some books describe that it wastes its intelligence. It likes... Five doesn't, five doesn't like talking about people who are quite intelligent yet might waste their intelligence. It, it likes simple pleasures. <laughs> Slumbering in filth, the thrill of torture, the bliss of feasting on a live meal, the joy of breaking something beautiful, watching it crumble. Um, so the terrible, that's what you're saying. They're, they're, they're absolutely terrible. They enjoy terrible 31, things. 31, it is a demon. It's a teleporter. They're they're usually aquatic. All this 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 one seemed to be really well versed at running around on the ground, um, and then you know with a thirty one that it can utter blasphemies. Oh no 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 no. And it can chaos hammer all day long. Oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> that could be worse. And it seems Speaking to have made its home. And you now know what the slick trails are of blood are. It looks like it's been running out of the whale's mouth and feeding. Uh, we need a way. And it didn't seem to struggle going into the whale's mouth. Like, nothing really moved. It just sort of, like, ran into it like it's hollow. Do I know anybody in the tower? Like, any name of a wizard who's supposed to be in there? No. There this probably hasn't been an active wizard in there for a long time. Uh, give me a knowledge arcana. I guess that's what it's for. Yeah, I'm just like... No name off of the tip of your tongue. Oh. 27. Um, there's something weirdly familiar about the tower. You might have seen it drawn somewhere before. It's definitely caught your interest now that you've seen it. But it's really odd. But something like this would exist in the city and they name a neighborhood after it, and that's all they're gonna do? <laughs> that's all they're gonna do about it? Maybe the wizard who lives here is ancient and has already made deals with, you know, high ups in the city. Semi secret kind of thing. We need a way. <clears throat> How good are you with your sling? Looking at me? It was yeah, okay up there. Yeah. Um, you might want I'm to be skid. quiet. There's an even more terrible thing over there. Pretty good. I think it's taking a nap. That's it's living good. inside of the planar whale leviathan thing. Okay, Elden, you, he needs to shut up. Because <laughs> he's yelling over <laughs> the, the side of the wall. He, he smacks your foot. 
Alf! <laughs> Shut up. Come down to fucking smack you one. Yeah. Ow! The icon is just sort of lounging on land, you know. Your horn is like a handle. <laughs> All the best to work with. <laughs> Vin Vintarin is like. <coughs> uh, Lan, or er, Fi is going to bring Lan up. Okay. And then he's going to sort of jump into Lan's arms as little Fi. Okay, well, Icon's coming up with Lan. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. I, I'll, leave him, I'll leave him like halfway. Uh, <laughs> We still go. <laughs> uh, so Ventarin needs to go up. Um, all right. Uh, okay, I'll, 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 Ventarin's like, yeah, we'll, we'll, okay, fine. All right, we'll bring up. Okay, Icon comes over the top. He's just standing there. Not even, uh, hiding, not even ducking. Um, uh, Icon, could you lay down? Hamid. Yeah. <laughs> What did I do? I'm awake, son. Okay. Just checking the inside uh, of my eyelids. <laughs> Fi is going to uh, ask Icon to lay down. Okay. Icon crouches down. Like this, you mean? There yes. we go. That's right, right? Yes. Try not to stick anything up so people can see you. Uh, no lights. Uh, Lan will go down, or I will let Lan down. Okay, what, what was that? Sorry. Typing. Typu. <laughs> Letting Lan down. To go okay. get. Okay, uh, to go get uh, Ventarin. Ventarin. Lan can yeah. lift Ventarin. Uh, 18 strength. Viterans not that big of a man. I'm no uh, Uker, but <laughs> <laughs> there's only one. Uh, <laughs> there can be only one. And the levitate can lift 1,900 pounds. Is that what? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah the levitate right. can do it. Uh, and yeah, Viterans is fact levitate. Yeah, uh, Ventarin weighs 213 pounds plus gear, so like 300 pounds. No problem. Um, he, he actually kind of has to, like, you do a fireman lift and, and you're able to levitate to the top of the tower. Can I get up now? Um, we'll drop him first. Put Ventarin over first. Uh, all right. Well... Ventarin. Well, actually, no, no. Uh, Elden, Elden puts puts a hand up like. Fi, you know that <clears throat> this spell did you know that we should probably go the other way. Oh, that's what I wanted to ask you, that thing. Um, I don't think we can... I, I, I'm not able to do what I did over there again. <laughs> I don't know about Ventarin either. <laughs> Alright, let's all, let's all lie down and look at the sky. Everybody have a lie down. Let's come, everyone, lie down. And we're all going to have a lie down. We're all I, going to have a lie down. Because they're all going to push you off the <laughs> sitting down. <laughs> Okay, um, you, 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 you hear it. Like, you hear it kind of like... As it's like charging out of the whale. It sniffs and... Goes into the... Goes into the city. If that thing... Blasphemes... We die. And that's just what happens. So we're just going to sit here, look at the sky, and contemplate for a few moments. How do we get a message 
into a tower that's guarded by something that kills us. And not just can kill us, just, just assume it just kills us. Assume you go there, you just die. There's a bit of lore that you're now beginning to remember about the whale. And it's from other stories. But people riding in the bellies of whales. Um, does the doors to the tower, can we see them? It is actually facing kind of the courtyard, if you remember, like facing towards the inner part of the city. So you can see the okay. stairs leading up. The stairs and the mount that the whole thing is on is all flickering. So it's not like people have been ignoring for years stairs that lead up to nowhere. Like the whole, the whole construct is flickering. Shit, none of you can cast the invisibility, can you? Icon cannot. Shh, quiet. Icon cannot, he says. There we go. So, how do we know that that is a... not a blink effect? Perhaps it's supposed to be in the ethereal. Or perhaps it's in the shadow. Or perhaps it's not and people run into it anyway. Maybe it can go back and forth. Icon wants to take a look and he's like worming his way over to one of the crenellations and he's peeking over. Remember, when it says naughty words, we all die. So stay low <laughs> he crawls and back quiet. <laughs> This dust is putrid. It blocks at the light of the sun. I do not like this place. <sighs> then Taran is... Is there any... Is there anything inside that you want? Any, I mean, other, we're here. What, what now? That thing is quite a big risk. I don't know if it's worth for us uh, going there. We need to do this intelligently. Listening. <laughs> you have a plan. Good. <laughs> they will show us a way. I am certain my way was finding you and the weird ones. There's nothing inherently evil about the whale. Like, the whale is like a neutral beast. It's not like it came from the abyss or anything like that. The whale... Uh, that whale... There might be a way in the... What if we... I... Mm. Well, look... Why don't, why don't we just wait here for a while <clears throat> and see how long the Hezro runs off? If it stays away for a long time, maybe we can sneak down there and take a peek. <sighs> what happens when it returns and we're still inside? Or we it can sniff us out and follow happen. us. Uh, it's, it's more of an aquatic thing. It doesn't really sniff. Okay. Remember also for about the, the Hezero, something about being supernaturally stinky? We'll know when it's coming. It smells bad. Also, it teleports, so that's, that's there's that too. Anyways, it sort of sounds like a charging bowl. Huff, 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 huff. Uh, that something like along those lines. Is it, uh, we just lie here, look at this, pretend they're stone stars. We wait. There was something distinctly happy about it running around. Maybe it's playing fetch. It's, I mean, they're not that dumb, but hmm. right. I wish to can. I wish we could destroy it, but not not after not after that. You battle. know, you know. Uh, could you do me a favor? Yes. Could you not use the word "I wish" as a as a normal parlance? Just 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 as a general precaution. Rule? 
<coughs> yeah, of course. Just, just in case. Plus, can you try not to show yourself off on top of a tower so that, or a wall so that we don't get killed? Yeah? Do you, could you do that? Seems fair. All right, good. All right, good. Fair trade. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, those ghouls. They're still eating. Um, we could try to lure the ghouls away. Because we're going to have to get rid of them either way. How long do you wait? Well, uh, why don't we wait here for 20 minutes? Okay, 20 minutes goes by, nothing really changes. The ghouls are still eating. Elden pops his head over just to take a look. You don't hear or see the demon. Uh, wait for an hour. Okay, about 40 minutes after your 20 minute wait, you hear... It's in the it's in the a the area of the courtyard. Is it, uh, what's it eating now? Right. It. Hmm. It's wandered up to the tower and it's starting to climb the side of it. Like. Its body, right, its body naturally seems like it's it's okay for it to lean over, but it actually, when it started climbing the tower, it can stand like upright. It could probably choose to walk upright. It just seemed to be happy running around on all fours. Uh, and this tower is taller than the wall. Yes. Yeah, it's it's sort of climbing the far side. It's like looking up. Okay. Um, um it actually says something in abyssal. Hey. Hey. So, if it even so much as thinks about looking this way, we all roll off the side of this wall. <laughs> and I can't will heal us later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it's, it's like climbed up this far and it's going, Ay, ay. It just slides down the side of the tower, and is now kind of cocked its head off to the side, and is looking into the door. It looks at the ghouls, <laughs> giggles at them a little bit, and then starts going up the stairs. Okay. Disappears into the front of the tower. So this thing is huge, right? Uh, it's large. We're just large? Okay. Did it have anything extra, like body parts hanging off of it? Or mouth, maybe? Uh, not this time. It, its face looked like it was glistening full of blood. Have we seen any other uh, ones like that? Mm, this particular creature? No. Oh, of course, you weren't around directly during the attack. Yeah, yeah. Um... Ah... <sighs> I have no idea how long it will take once it's inside. Do you realize the absurdity of what we're doing right now? It's so absurd. Should, I think we should leave. We are trying to determine a <coughs> ritual for a demon. <laughs> this is, Oops. Oh, sorry. No, no, too, no. Oops. You can hear some rocks tumbling. <laughs> Somewhere. Uh, inside Somewhere. the tower, it's kind of echoing of, like, clanging of rock against rock. Yeah. Uh, maybe, like, the ping of a rock against a, a, a metal wall. Like, <laughs> What's the sound of a rock hitting a wall of force? A couple of rocks Do I know? plinking down the stairs as the whole tower is flickering. Mm -hmm. When it flickers, you don't see the creature inside. That is interesting. Hmm. I need... We need some way... You hear this pathetic... <laughs> coming from inside the whale. <laughs> which, seem, which seems to enrage the monster. And it goes skidding up around the whale, and it goes 
Fucking shut up! I'll get you! It seems to have anger management issues. <laughs> Goes into the whale, and now you can see the whale kind of, like... <clears throat> Is it? You, you heard some sounds of pain, high pitched like screeching. Meetings. Yeah. We need to save that being. The boons are going to save you forever. The what? Boons? I don't speak abyssal. Could somebody tell me what he's saying? Lion. Lan has a uh, missile. Yep. You heard me talking. Hmm. Growl, growly English, so... <laughs> he, said, <laughs> la, la. <laughs> he said the boons will not save you forever. All right. I heard boons. I don't know if you meant bones. That's, that's, well, either way. Oh, okay. The, the thing comes out, and it's got, like, a bunch of whale blubber kind of hanging off the side of its mouth. All right. We need to rest. Do I know if this type of demon has um, any of the true seeing type powers? Maybe that's what they meant by it being dumb. Hmm. Um, it being a true demon, though, you're surprised. All the really good ones. Seen you guys now, maybe because it's running around on all fours, it's not looking up. Oh, also because typically we're higher than it, and we're all laying. We're not really trying to look at it. We want to be listening to it. Yeah. Yep. At least that was my instruction. Was nobody look at it? Everybody just listen. <laughs> okay, so it is now time for us to all roll off the side of the wall. <laughs> I'll show you what awaits you. Okay. It goes running off again. We might want to clean up that mess down there. Uh, <laughs> five rolls off the side of the wall. Oh, <laughs> crunch, crunch. You, you basically willingly roll off the side of the kind of jumping off the tower, <laughs> jumping off the wall. Uh, ten damage. <laughs> oh, you fall! You fall onto the ground. Oh. Nina <laughs> flutters it. down. It'll be okay. <laughs> That's just a scratch. Uh, Icon uh, smiles. We definitely need feather falling. Yes. Eighteen damage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You don't practice at this like I am. <laughs> he just lies there for a while. <laughs> That's okay, let it out. It's cathartic, really. <laughs> Lifting up kind of like a twisted arm. Ah, I think it's broken. <laughs> Ahmed, you want to give me a uh, acrobatics check for Lan? Fuck. <laughs> Hate you. <laughs> So much. <laughs> you guys are rolling away from the greater demon by breaking your legs. <laughs> uh, Land's gonna just try to uh, catch onto the ledge and climb down. Okay, well that, that that's a good that's a good thing too. You can roll a climb check. Yeah, it's I'll safer for that. Fi to just intentionally fall than it is for him to try to climb. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <clears throat> Twenty-four. Lion's able to power himself down the down the wall. Why did we just use the ropes? As I call he's, he's crawling towards you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we yelling as we fall over? <laughs> Probably not. It's like a fear effect, man. Ventarin will try to climb down. Okay. Uh, he puts stoves in shield. 
climb. 17, climb. No progress. Um, if Alden, I fall, it's no big deal. So <laughs> Alden's going to try. 22? You climb down. 15. Uh, fails fall. by 5, so Elden falls. <laughs> Taking 5 that's damage. Just, that's the spirit, Elden. <laughs> landing, in, landing in some soft grass. <laughs> that That's actually really good damage. Right, his, his armor absorbing all of it. He just gets up and brushes himself off. Yeah. Well, oh, that that really was wasn't like, bad. Like as as Venteran like lands on him, <laughs> crawling towards Fi, he's like, uh, "Help me up!" Fi will go pick him up. We should move away from here before I spread the light. Yes, it yes. is a teleporting demon after all. It certainly is. Can we go um, back to the manor now? Is the pile of goo still a pile of goo? Yeah. Um, the skeleton is actually... There's still a couple of little like bubbles coming out of the pile, and the skeleton is... Fi is going soggy. to levitate this wagon. Okay. And Tarn's going to push the wagon on top of the body. Okay. And then just kind of stick it there. So it's covered. Why are you doing that? Because we don't want any f demons flying over the head to go, oh, look, there's a dead demon. Maybe we should investigate this area and murder everyone. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so, so the group of you victorious returns back to the manor. Is that where you're going? Basically, or are you finding uh, your own hole to, to hide in? No, no, no. Why did we? No, no, no. We'll go back to the manor. Okay. Yep. We're basically in the manor's backyard right now. Yeah. The dude's watch drinking tea and watching us jump off the wall like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Nursing his hangover. Uh, yeah, he... That was an interesting battle, says Bortha, who's waiting for you and he sees you coming back. He's waving you in. What did you see? Uh, hmm. There's an even more powerful demon. And a... Whale. whale. Looks, looks up uh, like I saw the whale. I saw the whale as well. So the, the tales of the children are true. Yes. Uh, yeah, there's a it's a planar leviathan. They sort of travel through the plains, swimming through the air as if it were water. It's um, an interesting neighborhood. I've never seen this tower in all the years that I've been here. I didn't even know it was there. Um. Hmm. Although once, once I did see a bird fall to the sky. Wait a sec, you're... Who owned this place before you? Give me a sense motive. <laughs> Fitting. He doesn't know. Not important. It's been the Degirix family for a lo for a while. Did the Degirixes have any wizards amongst their number? Sorcerers? Not that I'm aware Spell of. Spellcasters, bards. Hmm? Not that I'm aware of. Is what he says. Hmm. hmm. <sighs> I would. I wonder whether or not we would be able to see that tower all the time with simple. Second circle spells. Something makes me think you can't. If that was the barrier yeah. to entry, I, I doubt that was it. I think the one that created it would have thought of something that defends against that level of magic. So, we know that we have two avenues to pursue, and now we can talk freely. I can speak loudly if I wish. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Please be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're still in danger, you know. Well, far less. Far, far less. <laughs> maybe more, maybe more. All right. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, the tower door has not been breached. Not by the demons, anyway. Which means that you cannot teleport in, because there's a teleporting <clears throat> demon trying to get in, it couldn't get in. They're not completely idiotic, so they should be able to teleport. Uh, so it should have tried that, at least. Um, it also has a door that's relatively thick, because it didn't just bash it down, because it's, you know, a big 
strong, strapping young demon. Might be protected by magic. Hmm. Precisely. <sighs> Uh, probably uh, a force effect or something, um, anchoring effect, a uh, big adamantine door or something. What was making that noise from inside the whale? I not, not don't sure, but know. But the demon was trying to get it, but it, it couldn't because of some kind of boon or bone or something. Did anybody recognize the language? They were speaking a missile. I no, the little I things. I smile as a quick smile. I think it was singing. Hmm. What languages do you guys speak? How many languages do you speak? I speak lots. Is um, Draconic one of them? Yes. Okay. It sounded like Draconic singing. It was singing in Draconic. Are you sure? Yes. You're a dragon man, didn't you know? Well, I I don't hear so good. <laughs> Your check is higher than mine. <laughs> I have a plus two perception with a racial plus two perception. <laughs> At least perceptive. I got smiling. Hmm. And then one of so, your kin is inside, trapped by the demon. How are we going to save him? Or her? Yes. It could be a her, says Icon. <laughs> it, it definitely could be a her. It could also be a they. I like the singing, says Nina. I know. The demon didn't we'll... like the singing, which only made me like the singing more. I most definitely agree. This is... We need to get the singing thing. Which means so now, now it becomes a question of how do we get past the demon? Do we fight and kill it? Distract it and move while we're in there? If, can, the, if we... It can only hmm. blaspheme once per day. It can only kill everyone around it once per day. <laughs> How intelligent are these demons? Can they're I do powerful. a spellcraft check on Blaspheme? Yep. Because I'd really like to take a look at that spell. Uh, no, no. I just know it, it's bad and it can kill you. The, the, those demons are powerful. They have abilities, but it, how intelligent are they? I mean, would it be easy to trick? They're kind of beings of trickery. Um, so... They like being tricked, or they don't, so it's kind of... doesn't always take. Uh, they're relatively smart. They look like big gorillas, but... I mean, soggy gorillas. You're saying that this so, demon's just on the other side of the, the gate, or the, the other side of the wall, says Portha. Yeah, it, yes, yes, but it, it seems to act like it um, doesn't realize that it can cross the wall. Or wants to, or cares. Perhaps it's not interested in us. I don't we think did it kill its friend. I don't think it cares about its friend. Well, it did spend some time going, hey, you, something, something. Where are you? <laughs> Screw you! Like they might have been fighting. It might have actually been a rival. I don't speak abyssal. I don't know what it was shouting up the spire. Such a horrible tongue to learn and wrap your lips around, says Icon. But necessary sometimes. <laughs> We wait for it to leave and then try to draw away the ghouls. The ghouls stand no chance against the light of Pelor. Get me near them and I shall fry them. We need something well, faster than climbing up. <laughs> While Terendelev gave us many things, this is not the thing to 
tits about this particular challenge. <laughs> well. the, the two minute deploy. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about, talking about the levitates? <laughs> yeah, levitates. Yeah, that's not the... When, when well, the hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a second. Yeah, you perhaps, seem to be class. Perhaps we do have an, a way of doing this. Hmm. That creature can teleport, you said, yes? Yes. You attack it from range, get it to teleport away, and chase some folks. Is there a way to protect someone from its blaspheme? Like a lure, who will yes. sacrifice themselves so we can poke our heads inside the tower and the and the rotten whale? There needs to be three parties. The first attracts the demon away. The second deal with the ghouls, and the third goes in to extract the prisoner. Uh, the problem is evading it. Evading How what? How do you evade the demon? It's the blaspheme that's an issue. How fast is it able to move? Uh, like, if we look at the, its movement, was it like moving at 30? At... Yeah, it was running around happily at 30. All right. It seemed to climb really well, and you don't remember from the lore it being climber. Um, we need to find a location that it... It's, it's, it's not a normal one. They usually don't... Like, more watery. It it was strange. Of course, the abyss um, is a chaotic plane, and you know, much like vampires or ghosts, there are common qualities, and then there are some you know idiosyncrasies. So that's actually not a terrible plan. We just need a way to evade it. Yes, if um, if you find me a spot that. I can crawl through. I can attack, withdraw, crawl through, waste some time trying to get at me. Why don't then you when just leave it, says Bortha. You'll attract hmm. attention back to my manor. This is not what we agreed. Oh, but there's a sovereign inside. It's very likely that there is a sovereign. A sovereign, inside. sovereign is inside the whale? He's looking at you like he can't believe he's strung that sentence together. When he woke up this morning, he didn't think he'd be saying that. There's a sovereign in a whale. <laughs> the song. Don't worry. There's a member of the royal family on the moon. It's, it's like... <laughs> yeah, he, he, he shuts up like this is beyond him. If he's actually we... thinking about what you said, like... If we could time ourselves, we should be able to get in and out in less than an hour. The problem is, he can't hear us, because then he just comes back immediately. Hmm. Hmm. Icons bobbing his head up and down. Is it, are any of you horsemen? Just check to see uh, how much XP you got today. I'm not exactly a horseman, but... I can ride. A horse is a little bit more than I'm comfortable with. You're a ponyman. <laughs> you can wait till your dog comes back. Yeah. Because as long as you keep moving, it can't blaspheme you. Because you have to, you have just to catch up. <laughs> okay. So today you battled what? Um. <clears throat> uh, a well, we witnessed the lynching thingy with the yep. You know, we secured the library in a portable fashion. Yep, and um, we saved what we couldn't. All we the all the experts you brought to relative safety. Mm -hmm. We crossed the chasm. Of yep. face smashing. Um, yeah. The, <clears throat> we met the folks that didn't really want to help us. You returned <laughs> return Bortha de Gierix back to his home. Yep. Found out what kind of god he worships. Sure. Demigod he worships. Found a yeah. CR10. Found <laughs> yeah. uh, an uh, honest to goodness CR10 demon. Mm -hmm. And then spied upon another one using a. 
It's like a hospital, essentially. Discovered there's a possible sovereign inside? Oh, that's, we'll get that. We have to find a way to get the sovereign outside. Okay, that would put you at 17,000, and you need 21,000 for level. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, no. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> So, who is the fastest? May I ask a question? Yes. Please do. May I ask another question? He smiles. Feel free to ask as many questions as you'd like. Thank you. If this blaspheming can kill, why yes. hasn't it killed the sovereign inside the whale? Mm. may not I be trying it, to kill it. It might be like some of the other spells where it only kills those who are weak. Ah. Or maybe it's the Sovereign's protected in some way through a, a, a protective shell or casing. Um, Icon's got a very small percent... He's got a very small number against spellcraft. No, plus six. Not bad. He's going to think about blasphemy. Come on. He's like me. It's bad. <laughs> Thou should not blaspheme against the goodly deities. It's <laughs> his foot. He's not going to get you far with the demons, you know. To be perfectly honest, you really shouldn't blaspheme against <laughs> any of them. Did you really want any of them being the enemy? Alas, no. But some are jealous of the light of dawn. And of the high sun. And even of the sunset. All are children of the great creator. Mm. <laughs> Icon's like, mm, if you say so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds insane. <laughs> That's what Bortha says. But if there is a sovereign, maybe you should find someone who is better equipped at fighting these demons. Hmm. Maybe, how long Hedrian had, maybe Hadrian had some luck. And not risk the death of a sovereign for your own glory, he says as he leaves his office. <laughs> or he leaves the area. You actually hear a knock at the door like, bong, bong, bong. So, uh, Ventarin then, goes to the door. Yeah, and then Kruger's yeah. wine... As as out of the dust comes uh, comes Hadrian and and uh, Otis and Kruger. How does the wind always blow when he's around? He's just every... <laughs> <laughs> he, he he like dusts off his hat, kind of dusting himself off. Kruger comes running towards uh, 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 Elden, gives you a sniff, and then does the doggy shake and gets all the dust hey, off boy. himself. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, do you want the good news? You first. Hmm. All right. Let me just check the map. Uh, the, the, uh... There's survivors out there. Those chaps weren't so bad. Adrian's just listening to the Otis as he's, like, cleaning out his gun. <laughs> Some of them Does it look a... like it's been fired? <laughs> yep. Some of them needed a talking to, though, but, uh... They're on our side. Resources are short. And, well, I guess people of that neighborhood are sticking together. Um, are they interested in trade? Yeah. No one's heard hide nor hair out of Lord Hulrun. People believe he's disappeared since the fighting. Although some have spoken about... Um, a safe place. Defender's heart, is what Hadrian says. Hmm. An old fortification built in the era of the First Crusade. Now it's an inn. Where is, where, 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 where relative to us is that? Uh, knowledge local. Yeah, sure. Or knowledge geography, one of the two. I, do I, both, or? Sure. 
28 knowledge loco. 23 knowledge geography. They say Defender's Heart still stands. And I've just exposed it on the map. Hmm. This big building. Uh, it's by your f family's region, isn't it? Yep. Hmm. I may change the layout of the building, so I'm just going to kind of put a big gray block over it because I found a much better looking uh, um, <laughs> castle. <laughs> it's the X-Dome. Yeah. <laughs> Motocross park. Um, Defender's Heart, uh, what did you get for your knowledge local? Uh, 28. At the time of the First Crusade, it was located outside the city walls and over the century was absorbed by the city. The original moat was filled in and many gardens were planted around the walls. Um, Defender's Heart has been used as barracks, Lord's Manor, a hospice, a school, and a boarding house over the centuries. It is currently run in, in the last century or so as an inn. The forecastle was rebuilt after a fire about 50 years ago and now is much more welcoming. It's actually like a building, a big courtyard, and then a big sort of fortified manor. Like mm -hmm. two, three hundred people could could like be housed there. Uh, the inn is known to cater to crusaders, veterans of the crusades, and other martial types. Apparently, since Terran's down, a lot of the crusaders started going to the places that they knew. Uh, it's become a sanctuary, a resting place, and uh, maybe even a meeting place. They're saying that uh, there's a paladin woman up there. Her name's, uh... Irabeth. Tearsblade. Uh, anybody recognize the name? Uh, uh, it's a DC 20... Nope. <laughs> she's not name level. She's not legendary. It's like DC, but she's got a high charisma. So DC 25 to know who she is. I've had her. You know, you know of her because she's an oddity, an oddity because she's a. Um, I'm not trying to say this to be sexist. Some some religions are female gods versus male gods. Heronius is known to be a really sort of staunchy, stodgy, lawful good god. Mm -hmm. um, and one of his tenets is chivalry towards women. <laughs> and she's like a female paladin. Um. And she's half orc, so she's got like, like two like not normal for that religion to accept. Um, she's probably um, rose in the ranks due to good service, but if that's who they're touting as the the surviving paladin of the Crusades, if. <laughs> means that you've got someone who's less than name level who's in command. They need help. Yeah. Um, her, her name Tearsblade is interesting because you think that there's some other pantheon out there on some other world where Tear is a god of justice. So she may, her, her orcish people may have come from a different world. And then there's an irony because we know from other campaigns that well, yeah, mm -hmm. the orcs did come from a different world, but then her people, you know, anyways. Uh, her name's Irabeth. Um, there's nothing, you've, you've never heard anything bad about her. It's just like, oh, there's an or there's a half-orc paladin yep. lady of Heronius. It, and uh, I like weirdos, yep. so. <clears throat> uh, I know Appa of her. Apparently Defender's Heart still stands, and a, a lot of the Crusaders and Warriors are gathering there. If you're going to find any remnants of your uh, Crusader... <laughs> like, Hadrian looks grumpy. If you're going to find any remnants of the Crusader Order or or um, priests, um, inquisitors, you'll likely find them there. Uh, Otis is really happy because he's like... <laughs> and the matter is on the way! <laughs> you know, yeah. like, the Widdershin's house is just basically uh, north of the Black Line. I, ha I don't want to spoil whether it's destroyed or not. She is not... Terribly known for being powerful. If I was trying to, no, she's she's a paladin. I've seen her. I've never spoken to her. Says Hadrian. Do you want to? That's where they all are. Yeah. 
if any of the head nobody knows what happened to the to the inquisitors my hope is that some of my seniors have survived if so then they're in charge perhaps she's the public face he's 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 hoping